Hello and good day. My name is Craig with the ICT Repair Branch of the US. And this video is going to demonstrate how to update your TAL2 fill acceptors with the USB flash device. Um, this functionality has been added to the TAL2 as well as some of our other newer uh, models which allows you to update the unit's firmware without having to go through a secondary uh, programming device like our FB004 or our MTB. So that is done just by getting um, a USB drive, um, two, four gigs. Um, the smaller, the better. Um, in our experience here, the larger drives you use, such as anything larger than, I'd say, 16 gigs, uh, you might start to run into some compatibility issues where the firmware won't um, actually proceed or um, just sit there doing nothing. So you want to be sure to um, use the right kind of, uh, of USB drive. Um, if you want to ensure that it's going to work. Um, we do sell these USB drives. Um, the prices do change. Um, contact us for the latest pricing on those. As of this video, which is the 8th of November in 2019, the Tau2 firmware um, update process for USB requires um, three, three files. Um, those files you can request from us. We can send those out to you uh, to allow you to update your own units. Um, let me go ahead and switch over to my other screen and show you that process here really quick. So the, the files we send you, like I mentioned, they're going to be uh, three files. Um, usually any file that starts with a TAEP that is going to be your actual TAU uh, main firmware. That's basically the file that tells your TAU how to be a TAU. <clears throat> the second file here is the uh, USB MCU bootloader. Um, that is going to update some of the, the USB code on that port to allow um, you know, um, compatibility issues to be resolved, some fixes to be uh, addressed on the USB protocol stack, um, as well as this third file is supplementary to this uh, USB bootloader update. So all three of these files will work in conjunction with uh, one another and sh all should be applied at the same time. Um, this may change later on, but as of now, uh, all three of these files are recommended to be um, updated at the same time for tau twos. So drag those three files onto your USB drive. Verify that they're there, and they are. And to avoid any corruption that may occur, do not simply just unplug your USB drive. You want to be sure to right click on it here. Um, my menu doesn't show up, but there will be an eject uh, option that will safely remove your USB drive and allow you to you know, um, keep your files intact without damage or corruption. So that being said, let's go ahead and move over to the TAU. Um, I'm gonna remove the cache box for demonstration in this video, uh, just because it blocks a lot of the um, areas that I'm gonna be trying to mention. So after that, um, there's a plug on the TAU, um, little, little plastic uh, piece just pulls straight out. Um, it helps protect the USB port against any kind of damage or condensation that may pool up in there. Um, so hold on to that. We'll be putting it back after we're done with the update process. So with your TAU powered off, um, go ahead and plug in your um, USB thumb drive onto the side of the unit and go ahead and apply power. Your light will strobe here a few times and then go into a rapid flashing pattern. 
I'd say it's an on-off cycle of maybe 50 to 100 milliseconds. Um, as long as this is strobing, my camera may not pick it up that well, but as long as this is uh, strobing here, this is indicating that it is updating the, um, the various firmwares in the towel. Um, we put the status light here um, on the front, it's just gonna be solid red. So this is basically gonna be your main indicator of what's going on. So it takes a couple of minutes and uh, since the cash box is off, the arm will just stack once uh, indicating that it's completed. So we'll wait for that. And as such, it stacks once. Your rapid flashing light is now going to go through its normal sequence and show you the first error that it comes across. So as such, there's no catch box. It's going to be giving you a sudden flash. Um, once you put the catch box back on, Your lights will cycle here, but you want to be sure you're not done yet. As soon as you unplug your USB, it will recycle, uh, sorry, restart the whole unit once again. And you should have no more air flashing lights if you're in pulse. Your front bezel light should be rotating as they should, um, indicating that the unit is ready for service, um, ready to go again. Um, as, as soon as you pull off the cash box, it's going to flash those uh, seven flashes indicating that there's an error. So um, you also uh, want to put back your um, USB plug, um, little plastic cover, like I mentioned, helps protect the port. Um, if you run into any issues during the process, feel free to give us a call or uh, send us an email. Um, we will try to help you out as best we can. Um, that pretty much wraps that up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great day. Thanks a lot.